T2-TSE sagittal slices. Plan the sagittal slices on the axial plane and align the positioning block parallel to the endometrium. Verify the positioning block in the other two planes. In the coronal plane, ensure an appropriate angle that is perpendicular to the cervix. Ensure that the slices cover the entire pelvis from the right acetabulum to the left acetabulum. The field of view, FOV, should be sufficiently large to encompass the entire pelvis, typically ranging from 200 mm to 220 mm. To minimize artifacts caused by arterial pulsation, peristalsis, and breathing, consider adding saturation bands on top and in front of the sagittal block. T2, TSE, coronal oblique. Plan the coronal oblique slices on the sagittal plane, ensuring that the positioning block is angled parallel to the cervix. Check the positioning block in the other two planes. Set an appropriate angle in the axial plane, straight across the uterus. The slices should sufficiently cover the entire uterus and ovaries. Adding saturation bands on the top and front of the coronal block will help reduce artifacts caused by arterial pulsation and breathing. Ensure an adequate level of phase oversampling to prevent wraparound artifacts. T2CE Axial Oblique Plan the axial oblique slices on the sagittal plane ensuring that the positioning block is angled perpendicular to the cervix. Verify the positioning block in the other two planes. Provide an appropriate angle in the axial plane perpendicular to the cervix. The slices must be sufficient to cover the entire uterus. Adding saturation bands on top and in front of the axial block will help reduce artifacts caused by arterial pulsation and breathing. Ensure an adequate level of phase oversampling to prevent any wraparound artifacts. Indications for MRI cervix scans For the evaluation and staging of cervix malignancies for the evaluation of recurrence of tumors, for the evaluation of pelvic pain or mass, abnormal cervical cancer screening test, vaginal bleeding. Contraindications. Any electrically, magnetically, or mechanically activated implant, such as cardiac pacemaker, insulin pump, biostimulator, neurostimulator, cochlear implant, and hearing aids. Intracranial aneurysm clips, unless made of titanium. Pregnancy, risk versus benefit ratio to be assessed. Ferromagnetic surgical clips or staples. Metallic foreign body in the eye. Metal shrapnel or bullet. Patient preparation for MRI cervix scans. A satisfactory written consent form must be taken from the patient before entering the scanner room. Ask the patient to remove all metal objects, including keys, coins, wallet, cards with magnetic strips, jewelry, hearing aid, and hairpins. Ask the patient to undress and change into a hospital gown. Buscopan injection risk and benefits must be explained to the patient before the scan. Claustrophobic patients may be accompanied into the scanner room, for example by staff member or relative, with proper safety screening. Offer earplug or headphones, possibly with music, for extra comfort. Explain the procedure to the patient and answer questions. Note down the weight of the patient.